This is the second video of best practices. Uh, in this video, I will talk about table properties. Let's jump into tables. Here, here is a cast group table. It's a standard table. Let's look at the properties. First of all, it must be a label. You should put a label to uh, tables. It's table's name and it's very important. And there are lots of places uh, which use labels. Okay. Uh, title field uh, one and two is showing uh, top of the forms and it's also very important. It's best practice to use if you has, have a ID and name or ID or description uh, like this. And cache lookup. Cache lookup is very important. It's a, it's a long topic, but uh, let me summarize it like this. If you have a table like uh, this, it's not a big table, it is a small amount of uh, data and it's not a transactional table, it's not creating records or uh, uh, updating it. So it can be entire table. Uh, entire table means it's cached uh, one time and uh, always not uh, asking uh, data from uh, SQL server. So, if you have a small and uh, and uh, not uh, uh, busy table, you can choose entire table. Be careful about that. And also, if you have a main table like cast table, run table, etc., you can use found and found and empty. If you have a transaction table like cast trans, run trans, uh, you can use not in TTS or none. It's related to tables, uh, transaction uh, volume. Uh, I will create a detailed video about cache lookup best practices. Right now, it's enough. Uh, cluster index and primary index are very really important uh, fields. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, if you have, uh, if you, if you have another, if you have uh, any kind of um, how can I say? You must use sorgit key for cluster index and prime index if there is no other need. Uh, in this cast group, it's a very old table, so it's using uh, cast group IDX. Uh, but if you create a new uh, table, you should uh, use sorgit key uh, as a primary key, and uh, uh, natural keys are not. Uh, best practice to use like this anymore. Uh, create rec ID index, of course, you should create rec ID index and primary index, as I mentioned. Table group is uh, an important uh, field again. Uh, this uh, this, uh, this uh, property is uh, for grouping your table. Uh, as you see, this is a, a main group table, so I, it's a group. If you have a main table or transaction table or a worksheet header or worksheet line. It means it's a worksheet table, like uh, like sales palm table, sales palm line, etc. You should uh, accordingly. You should choose accordingly. Uh, okay, it's not affecting any performance, etc. It's just uh, for categorization. Uh, also. We have created by created date time and created transaction ID. Also, we have modified by modified date time and transaction ID. If uh, you need these kind of fields, you can uh, set yes, and it's uh, it's very easy to use. And there are lots of uh, properties. I will not mention all of them, uh, just for important ones. If you uh, we have three type of table type, uh, one for regular. If you want to create a, a temporary table, you should choose in memory or temp DB. Uh, I will talk about temp tables later. Also, we have replacement key. If you use uh, surgit key as a uh, your uh, primary key, then you, you need to select your uh, natural key as a replacement key, uh, important field uh, again. And what else we can talk about? 
we look at the properties. Okay, these are the uh, important ones. Uh, so if you create a new table, you should uh, select uh, especially these uh, top of these uh, properties, label, title field, cache lookup, uh, cluster index, primary index, table group. These are the important ones uh, and be careful about them. Okay. Yeah, this is enough for table properties. I hope it's helping. Happy Daxic.